In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can solo mine Asterix to your own local node. If you're not familiar, Asterix is a relatively recently launched cryptocurrency that it is block DAG. It's based on kind of K heavy hash, Carlson hash, those types of algorithms. However, they created what they call Asterix hash. That means this is not directly mineable with any of the Casper ASICs. Technically, they will hash on it, but you won't actually find a block. So right now, you need a GPU or a CPU to mine on this. And it because it is based on Caspa, it's actually based on the Rusty and Rust implementation of Caspa. It's actually relatively easy to get a node and a stratum up and running. So I went ahead and I had already created Docker images for the node and also the stratum bridge. So today we're going to get those up and running on our mining pool server. And this is going to allow us to solo mine to our own node. Now you will need a wallet address. If you hop on over to asterisk-network.com, they do have a web wallet. This is the wallet that I'm using. Uh, and if we hop on over to the Explorer, kind of gives you indication of where we're at. So less than 11% have been mined so far. Uh, the block reward is currently 44. It is a monthly reduction of the block reward, like the other DAG coins. So on October 7th, it will drop to 41.53. There are currently 1.7 tera hash on the network. I did do a little bit of preliminary solo mining, and you can see I hit two blocks today. So to do the setup, we're just going to hop on over to our mining pool server. And the first thing we need to make sure is we create a folder to store the blockchain information in. Now, I already have a folder. If you don't have one, you can just do mkdir uh, dot asterisk hyphen node and just create that folder. I've already got that folder. Uh, so if we do an ls dot, you can see I already have that folder here. And actually, I already have the blockchain in there. Um, if you don't, it'll just start syncing away. Now, since the chain is so new, in fact, uh, SRB Miner just released a miner yesterday for this. It is super easy to get up and running, and it's super fast to sync. So it should only take like 10 to 15 minutes max to sync the entire blockchain right now. What we're going to do in order to run this in Docker, we're going to do a sudo docker run dash d uh, network of host restart always. We're going to set the max log size to 10 megabytes. We're going to name it asterisk. We're going to do a volume mapping. So for me, pool is the user I'm logged in as. So i am got the dot asterisk hyphen node. You have to make sure you map that to slash root slash dot asterisk hyphen node on the container. And the image is going to be the retro mic slash nodes colon asterisk. We're going to go ahead and hit enter. This is going to download the image and start up the container. To validate the container's running, we can just do a sudo docker log uh, on asterisk. And we can see it is starting up and running. So now to do the stratum, stratum super easy as well. So it's just gonna be sudo docker run, new detached, network of hosts, restart of always, max log size of 10. And we're going to name it asterisk stratum. And again, it's going to be the retro mic slash stratums colon asterisk. We're going to go ahead and run that. That's going to start running the stratum. Now to check the logs of the stratum and just do this. We can see it is listening. And let's see, it's starting up still. Uh, what we should see once that thing starts is we should see the asterisk is synced. If it's not synced yet, you'll just get a bunch of messages saying it's waiting on it to sync. No big deal. The stratum is now up and running. And if we hop on over to our Dozzle dashboard, so if you followed the series, you know that I like to use Dozzle to manage the logs. This will allow you to kind of see a run runtime log of both the node and also the stratum. So we can see it. the node is up and running. It's fully synced. We're getting blocks coming in, which is great. The stratum is up and running, and it's basically waiting for for a connection. Now for the purposes of testing the pool, we're actually going to uh, connect to it using MMPOS. So I've got a small GPU rig here. 
we're going to go to the wallet section. We're going to hit add wallet. Now asterisk isn't going to be in here yet uh, because it is a newer coin. So we're just going to use Caspa kind of as the coin template, if you will. I'm going to name this asterisk. And then in here, I'm going to grab my asterisk wallet address from my from the web wallet. So we'll just go ahead and copy this. And then we will plug that in here. Hit create wallet. Now we're going to hop on over to the pool section. We're going to do add pool. Again, we're going to call this asterisk. For the coin, you're going to want to use Caspa here. And then we can put in the IP address of our system, which is going to be 192.168.1.74 for us. The port number that it's going to be running on is going to be 5558. Let me go ahead and do that. We can leave the is default. Go ahead and hit create pool. Now we need to create a minor profile. So once again, we're going to do add pool here, or add profile rather. I'm going to call this asterisk. On coin, we're going to do Caspa. And on the minor, we're going to do SRB minor. Make sure it's the latest. It should have our asterisk pool in there. Now it's very important you go to overdo advanced. And here in the algorithm, you have to change this to asterisk hash. Um, SRB minor, the latest version is already implemented in MMPOS. Uh, it just doesn't have the algorithm tied to like the coin because the coin doesn't exist yet. So we go ahead and do this. Hit create profile. Now if we hop on over to our rig, we can go to minor profile. And we're going to switch this to asterisk. Hit switch. Then we will give that a minute to apply. And what we should see in the logs is we should see a connection get established to our asterisk stratum. Okay, it's now established the connection. So we can see client subscribe, client authorized. Oops. And now at this point, we're pretty much just going to let it hash away and wait to get a share. So it's going to have the IP address of our worker. So we do know that it is connected to the right one. And we're basically just going to kind of let this thing sit and wait for it to find a block. And so just like with Caspa nodes or anything like that, once it finds a block, this will increment to one and it will immediately pay out to the wallet that we specified in MMPOS when it was mining. So that's all there is to getting it up and running. Again, if we hop on over to the wallet, you'll see once a block gets hit, that it will show up here right in your wallet. So that's all you gotta do to get it mining. And because we did restart always, if your server or your mini PC, whatever you're running this on, if it reboots, it'll automatically start up both the uh, node and the stratum on restart.